Hello, I am Drake. This is time for fun toy reviews. Today we will be, uh, what's this? The Ninja Steel Megazord. Yes, we will be reviewing the Ninja Steel Megazord. Cue the intro. Whee! Before I get into the toy review, I'd like to say a couple of things. One, if it sounds like I'm bad-mouthing this guy, I think it's awesome. Bandai did a really nice job. There are not that many flaws. And yes, our stuff is almost is never going to be as good as the Japanese stuff. It's, that's just going to happen. We're just going to have to deal with that. Okay. I would like to point out that on the box... Don't know where it says it, but where does it say? Ah, bonus figure. It tells me I get a bonus figure. And battle gear included. Wait, 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 wait. So, is this guy the bonus figure in the battle gear? No, nope. yeah, battle gear. Is that dragon's wings and s wait so is this the figure i'm supposed to have and he's telling me it's new i'm confused <laughs> okay i just wanted to point that out because i thought that was really funny this is the back of the it's, it, 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 never mind this is the back of the box it shows a Pretty much almost exactly the same picture. The only thing that's different is um, the gold parts here instead of being painted are like, I don't know. They just look different. And if you look down, where is it? Right here. The pegs are white when they're actually black. You'll see that in a second. But the box is fine. It's great. It shows a picture. It's the same thing on the other side. You can see in through the top. You can see in through the front and this is the figure that it comes with that guy's bonus okay so on to the actual review with the actual toy so this guy is a great figure most people most people's the knees are loose Mine, I've seen some, I've watched a couple of reviews to see if that was actually true, and it is. Some people's can't even stand, while some are, the knees are really tight. I think mine's somewhere right in the middle, like, I can mess around with them, and then, yes, he will fall down. I did drop him, and a cup the... Uh, this knee bent like that when I dropped him, and the Zords went flying everywhere. So, and, but that's Zord Builder. I'm going to separate them up into those uh, separate Zords, and then I'm going to recombine them into this. So, I have not found a place for this. The Well, I have. It's not really that great. The only spot I have found for it is right here. There's this random peg on the tail. And it'll totally stay. The peg's just not long enough, so it falls off pretty easily. These pegs back here on the back do not work. So, for this, what you're really going to have to do, take him out of the dumpster, put it there. Or just leave him in Megazord mode. I think that's the easier option. So, um, you know, this guy can sit. His arms can move. His head can, <clears throat> there, it moved. You can spin it all the way around, it's just really hard. Okay, enough of that. So, the wheels on the dump truck actually move. This surface here isn't really that great. It moves better there. Um, the dragon's arms can move. Another thing, and it's, it's on like a really weird ratchet thing. 
So lots of people's their for their dragon the arms fall off. I did a bit of research on that as well. And don't super glue them back on. Because if you do, then you can't move them and that might become a problem later on. So, the dragon's fine. It's nice. I like the dragon. I like the dumpster, too. Okay. My only problem with the dumpster is the fist sticking out. I'm okay with it on the dragon for some reason, and I don't know why, but I'm really not okay with it with this. And... The random Zord Builder peg over here confuses me. Like, and it's n it's not even used. I think it, I don't. It doesn't really get used. I would have preferred for the dump truck either two things to happen. One, a flap flips down so it looks more like a dump truck. So you know, like there's like the thing that goes like right here, like a. I don't know. I don't really have anything around me that would work. Uh, to show you guys, but like, you know, like a thing that come, extends over here. Or the fist to be able to fold in. One of those two. I just really would have loved that. Um, the dog actually is not one solid piece of plastic. The head can move. It's two sandwiched together so that head can move, that you can unscrew the jaw to get the gold thing out of his mouth. And he's a nice rubbery plastic. He's nice. So, let's move these guys off to the side and let's talk about the train. So, the train is a train. It's a stick. See, these are black. On the back of the box, they're white. It's, hold to, it's held together by a flimsy piece of plastic. The only reason I say flimsy is not that the actual plastic is, fl is flimsy that the connection is flimsy. That's it. Just a better connection. It's not like we need to be bad-mouthing Bandai because the Japanese version is better because they just spend more money on their toys. They care more about their toys than us. It's, it's fine. It's per it does what it needs to do. So, to get it... Now, okay... We're done talking about them separately. Now we're going to combine them. You're going to want to flip this down. Stand it up. It's going to fall over. And spoilers, there's pegs on the bottom for when it combines with the next ranger's stuff. That's also going to fall down. Oh, wait. Nope, this one. You take the dog. You don't even have to move the head. You just stick it in, and the head will move on its own. And there you go. Don't, don't ruin this. No! Ah! Okay. Okay. <laughs> so you're going to take the front off. You're going to flip the front. Fold the, uh, fold the wheels in. Take this, flip this down, Let's put these in, body, and the train's legs, Take go to the dragon, <clears throat> take him apart, sword and shield, and we'll talk more about that, and then arm, and then assemble, Everything together. Oh, couldn't see what I just did there because I was doing it behind the Megazord. So what you're gonna want to do is have him like a sitting position, put his arms like up like that, and then he just goes in. And fold his arms down and adjust everything so he can hold them. These things. And there you go. I think that's actually the best I've ever gotten in there. Wow. And then this 
will go on the first set of clips. Not the second. I forgot to say that. When you are attaching the arm, there's a set of clips. Well, this is confusing because right now, the first set of clips, this is the first set of clips, but when you're like this, it's the second set. So, when you are assembling, the doing stuff with the dump truck, it's always going to be the first set of clips, or what would look like the first set of clips, if that makes any sense at all. I don't think it does, though. So, these are going to clip in right down there, and clip, clip. This over here is going to peg in right here, and we'll talk a bit about the shield in a second. There we go, and then just hold this, and then he just holds the sword, and yeah. Okay. Possibility wise, the knees can he can sit. I wonder why he's gonna do that. Hmm. <laughs> He's going to end up sitting in a giant lion. He can sit. Ugh, he can do this. Though he really wants to fall forward. What if I do this? No, he cannot do that. Um, okay, maybe his waist and knees are a little loose. But I can manage. On. Okay, arm articulation, and the dragon can do this really weird thing where you go, we. We're gonna talk more about that after we talk about the shield. In the actual TV show, the shield, like, it's not like this. It's like this side and this side connect, and this side down here splits, and then it's held more like this. So. It's fine. I would just really like a weapons pack or something like that. Because they're, they're doing these weird... Maybe with like one of the figures, and they're doing like more expensive ones that come with battle armor and stuff. Do like one of those where it comes with the shield. That's how it's supposed to look that this guy can hold. That would be amazing. I would love that. That's uh, There's a 75% chance that's not actually going to happen. And then there's a 75% chance a third-party seller is going to make that. Okay, another thing, you can put the shield up here because of random Zor Builder ports. And then it does also go in the back, but we're going to look into that a little bit right now. So what you're going to want to do is take his head off, take the dragon off, along with taking the sword. And the shield's already been taken off by me, but you know, if you... Oh, sorry, burped. But if you haven't already taken it off, take it off now. Remove the Red Ranger Zord. Get everybody else out of the way. So what you're going to do is you're going to fold his legs all the way up at the knees. Put his arms straight up. And here comes the hard part. Spin this all the way around so if you're looking straight on at him you can't see his face then you're gonna take it and swoosh it goes right there now you come around back take the dragon tail take the clips they will clip on right to his butt it had to be said and then that hole right there can peg in right here. Ow. Just poked myself with it. Ugh. I really would have liked the Zord Builder port on, oh my gosh, the dragon wings to be a separate piece of blue plastic. Then you're going to fold the legs up and then fold the knees down. Just one click each. And nope, I lied. Two clicks and then one click. Put the arms forward. And then take the dragon. And this is why he does this weird thing. Do that to him. 
and then stick them in there. And then fold the these up all the way. And you're done. Now, the box does not show this. And it still does this. The box says five Zords combine. And the bonus figure and the battle gear included and all that. It needs to say five Zords combined into two separate modes or something like that to imply that it can make this. Like, it needs to tell, you can have this, this cannot be good, yes, but it's a huge mistake to then not put it on the box. If they're going to keep making these, put this on the box. Seriously. And in the TV show, this can go right here, and that to, and like like this red section can come off and then make a dragon and then you fold this up and it makes a dragon face. Like I said, it's probably not gonna happen, but that would be amazing if they made that. I know they're doing like the pack things, you know, for the morpher. I'm not gonna get the morpher. I if they make another one of these where it's the dragon head, I'm gonna buy that. And if they make Another thing for the shield, which they probably won't, I will also buy that. But you can totally tape this right here. It would... It's okay. It's a weird noise happening upstairs. Okay, so... Before I end the review, I would like to point out... Here's another reason to keep the tail on him. Put these guys on him. If you don't know who these guys are, totally go find the toy review right now. Right now. Do it. Now. Okay. Maybe not right now. Maybe after you finish watching this or hopefully you've already watched this. Uh, not this. The, you know, hopefully you've ar you already know what these guys are. This guy's annoying. All of his his horns and his uh, all of his stuff just falls off, and then I've almost already lost all of it like twice. It's so annoying. Oh, eee, there we go. And put his face back on. They totally work with him. I just found that to be really nice. And also, you can random Zord build report on the back. You can take total advantage of that. Who doesn't want a giant dinosaur face coming off their back? Somebody thinks they can sneak up behind you to take you down from behind. Well, oh, spider! <laughs> There's some baby wipes over here. It's <laughs> This was really dusty, and that's why I said the baby wipes, but, um, <laughs> that was hilarious. <laughs> okay, but, <laughs> someone thinks they can take you down from behind, you know, dinosaur head. Or grab something, Zord Builder, stick it on, um. Ah, there you go. Now, now you know, this is when you know you have a problem happening, when you have some guy with a upside down head coming off of your arm. That's when you know you have a problem. But this is just Zord Builder, so there's so much more you can do. Just like, I know I've not reviewed this. I was going to do that. But just like Zord Builder port here, Zord Builder port there, Zord Builder port. You can't see it, but one there because they're everywhere, and that's awesome. There's um, Zord Builder. Zord Builder port on this guy, so you can stick, um, these guys don't have Zord Builder ports, but you can stick, like, some guy's arm on here. Who doesn't want to stick some guy's arm on there? Okay, I need to end this toy review. Um, <clears throat> like, comment, subscribe. Subscribe before you like and comment. It costs you nothing! These reviews are totally awesome! Do it anyway! Um, peace out! Yeah! I don't know.
like spider 